Ghana at the moment and he is on a bit of a territorial patrol. He's marking as he goes along. So we're going to have to play leapfrog though while we've been off air we've made sure that we've given the other guides a good opportunity to jump in front and have a look at him but I think it's our chance now to take a long stare at this beautiful boy. And my goodness, you work hard when you're trying to track down Tangana. You can ask Brent, well, you can actually ask all of us. We've all had an experience where we think we're just behind him. We're almost there. We're going to view him. And then he does a little sneaky and he disappears. I'm going to jump in front this time. All right, let, let's us have a go and then we'll try and pull off the road. So as we're driving, it's going to be a little bit bumpy with all the camera work, of course. But we've just got to keep moving. But we're going to keep a distance away from him. We'll just make sure we don't bother him. He's going to mark again. You see how he goes up and rubs his cheek against the tree. And then, of course, spraying urine as well. And we're going to get a lovely scent coming off of that tree. And if you have just started watching and you are new, welcome. And you probably think that I'm completely crazy after saying that leopard urine smells nice. Now, not everybody can sp smell it, but most people can smell the delicious buttered popcorn smell that you get from a leopard urine. Oh! Mmm, delicious. Lovely. Now, Sage, you're wondering what would happen if Tangana were to find Hosanna and Shongile. I don't think anything. Hang on, I'm going to pull off the road over here just so that another vehicle can see while he's sat down to groom. So I don't think he would really be too bothered. Hello, boy. Sorry, it's okay. I'm just making space so everyone else can come and see you. There we go. So I think he'd probably see them. I don't know what he would do if Karula wasn't around, but um, I've seen a couple of interactions where a female with her cubs has had a, a very pleasant interaction with a male leopard that is the sire of uh, the offspring. And it's not usually for too long. Uh, I've seen them greet before. Not this one. I'm talking about a different leopard now by the name of Little Bush and a big male by the name of Mashabeni, which is down in the southern sector of the Saabi Sand. A game reserve and um, he sort of went up to her they greeted and then he hissed a little bit at the cubs uh, her little cub actually approached uh, Masha Beni looked at him sort of looking head staring straight to the sky and and then that was the end of it then he didn't show any interest and moved off and I'm sure it'll be a similar interaction between uh, Tingana and his offspring I don't think he'd be particularly bothered in entertaining them though knowing Hosanna he can be a He's a funny one. He reminds me, oh, he reminds me of Dumbo the elephant, just like the whole personality, very lovable and just wants everybody to like him and that type of thing. But sometimes he doesn't use his brain, like when he decides to go chasing after elephants. Of course, we can know that that's not very clever for a young, inexperienced leopard to do something along those lines. He's going to get himself into a lot of trouble. So hopefully he gets a bit of sense as he uh, gets older. But I don't think he'd be bothered by Tingana too much. Tingana might hiss at him and snarl, and then he'll probably move off and away. But as he gets older now, he's going to have to be careful, because essentially he's a threat to Tingana. Not now, but in a couple years' time. Though I think Hosanna will probably move quite far away from this area. I can hear a couple of branches breaking in the distance, so I wonder if that's not the Ellie's that we had seen earlier. Now we're going to play leapfrog again. We're going to let this other vehicle that's just behind us have a chance and let them continue on forward behind Tingana. And, and then we will wait our turn again and take our spot.